United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our gracious Lord, our Father in heaven, we come before you this day thanking you for all things that well with us as it is, for all the blessings of life. We ask your blessings now upon us as we enter into this meeting. May you bless us with wisdom and knowledge and patience to make the most correct decisions for the betterment of our city and for the citizens. Bless our nation as we enter into election year. May everything be cordial and may things be safe during this year. Be thankful we ask in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. So do you still watch it? I don't see it. Oh, thank you. Let me just see. I don't know what Dell wants to pledge. We never look at it, do we, Charles? No, never look at it. Okay. First of all, you have to do this approval minutes. Make a motion we accept the minutes from the last meeting? Yeah. Second. second. Motion is second. Any further discussion? Either one of us, Charles, and I both seconded okay. it about the same time. I'll make a motion to pay the Beatles. How's that? I'll second it. <laughs> motion is second. Those in favor, signify by aye. Uh, Post same. Motion passes. Uh, next item of business is the bills. Nope, I made the motion already. I'll second. Yeah. We didn't vote on the first one. We voted on the second one. I thought that we was voting on the man as well. Oops. All right. Motion is second. Those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Uh, Getting a show on the road. Oh, same. Y'all got to get excited here. <laughs> motion passes. Uh, not showing any old business. First item of new business is new hire. Uh, I can't remember the last one. Is it Sam? Mm -hmm. like we hired uh, I think I uh, no comment. We hired Sam Minton uh, part time. He is working right now three days a week, uh, two Wednesday Thursdays until the weather kind of fares up. Uh, just like to make him see you make a motion for us to keep him part time, you know, through the first part of the year anyway, see how it works out. Through when? Uh, what? What through through fiscal year yes. or calendar year? Calendar uh, calendar year. Part time. Part time at this time, yes. What kind of rate of pay? I think it's going to ask I think it's eleven dollars an hour. What would he be doing? Uh, right now, he's working on the sanitation crew. Okay. Yeah, well, I'll make that motion to hire him for the three days a week. Yes. For the calendar year. Well, with the weather powered up, he could go to four. Well, that's fine with okay. me, but okay. I mean, you want to keep him that part time status all the way through, and then add to it if we need to. Unless we elect to hire him full time, see how he works okay. out. Eleven dollars an hour. Second. I have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Favor seeing about that? Aye. Opposed uh, same. Yeah, motion passes. Next item is new member for commission board, and that would be for planning and zoning. And uh, put up Jaron Ball for a member of the planning and zoning commission. He's agreed to do it. Make the motion that we accept Jaron Ball for the planning and zoning commission. Mm -hmm. I'll second it. They're willing to do it. I'm yeah. proud of you. And we still got an open spot on there, too, and on the Board of Adjustments that we got to fill. So. Jaron's a young guy, isn't mm -hmm. he? I went to Beaver Dam Elementary. Okay, we have a motion to second. Those in favor, signify by the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is the uh, resolution for Arbor Day to set it at April 26, 2024. Is that right, Jill? Yes, just at April 26. <laughs> uh -huh. That's when it's scheduled for the national. But we do this as part of that Tree City USA program. I move to establish April 26th at Arbor Day in Beaverton. Second. The motion is second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. All right. Larry, you have anything? Uh, yes. Uh, I don't know if y'all remember a few years ago when Flint, Michigan had the big water crisis. Uh, they switched their water source intake and had an adverse effect to the to their lead water lines. Well, that has trickled down now to EPA through the national level and now it's down to the state. So we have until October of this year to do a water line assessment <coughs> on city side of the meter and the homeowner side. So Travis has been working on that. Uh, we, we're going to have to divide. I think him and Jill's printed off all the 
all the information. Uh, we went through and identified probably 45% of ours. We've got a little, uh, they, have, they have made a little sheet uh, that we're going to ask homeowners when they come in to pay their bills to verify what they have on their side. Uh, whether it's going to be PVC, uh, galvanized, lead, copper, poly, or PEX. I've never, I've, I've been here 31 years, and I've never seen a lead service line from the meter to the house. I'm not saying there's none out there. But this is the first step what the EPA is going to recommend or is going to make us do. Is there any federal funding coming down to help with that? <laughs> they haven't decided yet. To be determined. Uh, there's the 57% there's any low elements. Yeah, the yeah. There, there, there is, and there's a 57%. There's 100%, I guess it's 100% funding with a 57% forgiveness if you have to do much after that, but that's still kind of up in the air. This is step one. Uh, after, after the inventory is done, that they compile all the information, uh, then there will be a, a phase two, which could take up to 10 years <coughs> to implement and get them taken care of. But this is phase one, and it's going to be very time consuming. So, Well, and one thing, too, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, anything built after 1988 correct. is exempt. Correct. That's, that's when the, the lead come out of the copper and they stop using the lead solder joints. We got about 400 houses. Yeah, so we got a lot of older homes. They're going to have to do a lot of replacement, right? Well, if they're laid, but we don't know if they are. And that's what like somebody's got 31 years. He's been here. He's not seen one. Yeah, I'm not saying it's not out there, but I, I haven't seen it. Uh, what about the people that don't really have no idea what color service line that's is? Mine, that's, that's, that, that will be after the survey comes in. We'll have to go door to door and see if they will let us allow us to look under their house or go into the pantry. I'm assuming we can go to the pantry where the hot water here is and see what's stepped up. Well, it could yes. be a combination of things. It, it could be. Uh, well, all, all, we, all they want to know is what it is when it comes in their house. Now, what they have spread out through the house is not our concern. From their house? From the house to the meter. So why can't you just dig down right by the meter? And We're going to have to. Well, you may have there's, to. There's 1,700 the meters. Yeah. And then you got to fix well, the yard. The we're, we're kind of not the easy <laughs> without your first. And tearing up people's yards, and they're not going to be happy. Yeah. yeah. So I, th I thought that might be what you end up having to do. Yeah, we're going to have to do some of them, But if they know, I see Ray just McClain take out there. what That'd they say. Yep. Ooh. Okay. Yep. But he'd like you out there in his house. That's, well, that's kind of a sell I mean, you know, if they say no, we don't know. And you see clubs, just like in ours. I know what's coming out of the houses. You know. So we were about to have to repair the ductwork. Usually, I guess a little bit. I think you know, well, no, the that's a good idea. They will do it. We'll let Travis yeah, do it. Yeah, we'll let Travis do that. What am I doing? You can crawl under my house. I'll give you what to do. Uh, I've got Kentucky River Water. They're going to do a water sewer rate study. Uh, look at the rates. I, I, I feel that the water rates are going to have to be adjusted this year. Uh, it's been several years, and the same thing with the wastewater side as, as well. Uh, they should have it done before the new budget. Uh, we will start uh, transposing numbers from 2023 to 2024 on the budget. So if you have any needs, uh, please put it in writing, and we'll look into it and see what we, what we have it on that. a piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> I got a big one. <laughs> it's all you. <laughs> I can run into that. I can run into that. <laughs> uh, our yearly water loss. Uh, I think Mike's going to do his presentation as well. Uh, <coughs> State of Kentucky, Kentucky River Water says anything 15% uh, or less is considered a well run and maintained water system. Ours in the past have run, been running for 3 to 7%. Uh, this our water loss was at six percent, so we're well, well under the average and what they consider to be a, a well run system. It looks like here that we purchased 95, 95 million gallons of water from the water district. We produced 26 million out of wells, uh, which gives us a grand total of uh, looks like one million two hundred fifteen thousand or one million two hundred fifteen thousand. The difference will be would be six percent of it. So uh, that's the leaks is not configured in here. Uh, the leaks are included here. So 
we have a very good crew. They uh, they see a leak, they get on it. Johnny on the spot. And we've had a few pretty good with this past year, so all in all it's been a really, really well year. That's all that I have. We got everything fixed up on Waterline and Goshen. Waterline is in. We've uh, done the bull water advisory. Back to East come back great. I think the only thing they like to do is pour concrete on the donuts shop side. I think it's poor. Okay. Yeah, the donut shop side is. Okay. I think Tommy's is. is. Okay. Uh, the asphalt's a little like. Yeah. He he called me and said that there was sidewalk under there when he pulled it up. He said, but there was it was asphalt over top, and I said just asphalt the back. That's you know, is how far it is. So. We're gonna ask a question. Yeah. Did water get under the road? Did the water get under the road? Well, uh, did you notice? Did you notice the hole that's developing there? Well, yeah. hole that, that that's the always had nothing to do with that's that. That's always started. I thought they fixed that. They, they didn't go that far. They didn't go that far. They didn't did, did do a dig out on it. They didn't go that far. No, no. The digging. They didn't even go all the way to the intersection. There was no undercut. Last undercut they done was right there in front of Randy Brown's house, East Fifth Street. No, they did some in front of the drugstore. I thought they did in front of Fuller's. They did well, that's that's East Fifth Street, what I call East Fifth Street. Up in front of Dwayne Adams, they did a little bit, but that's about her driveway is about where I think it stopped as far as the undercut. So are they going to go back this year and do the rest of it? No. Yeah. I doubt it. I thought that was in the plans. That they no, 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 no. No, the original was to go in and do the undercut downtown and pave it and then come back next year and pave from Goshen to 62. But the, and grind it and pave it, but they were able to get it all done in the same year. Well, but they never had any intentions of undercutting the rest of it. Let, let me back up. What, what I call the undercut, they undercut everything and they put rock back on top. They had soft spots like that, her stoplight, and at East Fifth Street, they actually had to go down an extra two or three foot. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that, that's what I was calling an undercut. Yeah, they, they did undercut everything up to the. I think they got her drive. Yeah. <clears throat> I just thought maybe water had gotten in there. That's why it started doing that again. Water was under. But it did not cause that. I wish they just dug that one spot out because it's done that for years. Yep. And they know it. Okay. Anything else? That's it. Sandy? Is A.B. going to be here tonight? No. Mm -hmm. One of my main questions is probably for him. And then the other thing that <clears throat> just wondering where we might be on Oldham Park and doing something with those buildings. They all, they all need to come down. I mean, are we? Every, everything is, has to be lapidated. Are we anywhere near being able to? They just look so tight. Well, I mean, we can take them down. That's not a problem. Uh, well, since she's talking about it, can I jump in here? Please, what do you over parks. <laughs> what, do, what do you all want to do with Oldham? Do you want to refurbish it? Do you want to change it? Do we want to change into something else? I mean, do you want to stick with the baseball baseball field? Do we want to change it into something else? I mean, we could go in a completely different direction. We could do the we could do the skate park down there or something. I mean, there's a couple of different directions we could go, but we need to decide what we're going to do down there. And then, like you say, tear down the buildings. Let's start over or change and do this. Or if we're going to keep it, fix the buildings back. Uh, the, ba the bathroom area, that building there, has a now have to stay because that is the electrical point, mechanical room. And that's where the power's fed for the well. Wow. It's probably the least tacky. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the good part. But <laughs> so. well, we could refurbish that one, make it a little bit better though, couldn't we? Yeah. I mean structurally it's it's pretty sound, but it's Is there any way to bolt the doors? It's hard to keep anything over there. We put no electrical service for the basketball court and it's already tore out. All right. Yeah. No, tore, they tore it off the, off the pole. Yeah, tore the face off of it. I mean. See, that's when I was looking at something like the skate park. They can't tear up concrete hardly. I know they can. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I said hardly. But are you going to light it? Yeah, we'd have to light it, and then they're, they're right back where we were before. But, again, I didn't know. I didn't know if we should, if we should, Go a different direction with it, or should we just fix what we got? Or what are y'all? There any way to to easily do a community survey to feel, see what? Well, we can not sure what would be best in there for the kids of the community. We've got the survey that we did a few years ago. Yeah, I, I, it's just the skate. They don't. 
a lot of people keep putting them on a roller skating rink. Well, that's adults. Yeah. We did a survey of the kids, and the roller skating rink was way down the list. Yeah. In fact, I don't even know that it was. But a skate park was. Skate high. park with the skateboards and stuff would, it was, and would be something to do. Orders. Yeah, that'd be something to be done. Well, they also use bicycles in those things, too. It's not like, you know, they just use it for skateboards. They use bicycles in those things, too. So, I mean, it's not. It is something to look at, but is, is that where we want to put it? You need to talk Ben Wood. Yeah. Because you're a huge liability. That's what I think. Well, that's yeah, I know me me liability. That's what I say. Of course, <laughs> you know me and liability. Well, liability doesn't bother me. If we were worried about liability, we wouldn't have a fire station, police station, or sidewalks. Yeah. So, I mean, I didn't know what you all... What but you, you always have somebody, if they do a skate park, some mom's going to sue. Oh, I know. Johnny got his arm broke mm -hmm. at a skate park. Now, soccer, they joined the sky out of Bowling Green, so I thought they'd leave in the park. Yep. They're still going to be playing at the park, but they're not... No, no more Casa. I mean, for that. But well, football. You football going to work for? Could they come back? To, you know. Well, but I don't think Odom will work for it because the size, the space. Mm -hmm. Well, they're they're also getting to play out here at the high schools. What I was told by the football people is they're going to let the the, the youth football play at the high school. They've the turf. The turf. The turf. They can do that. Yeah. Before, because they. Yep. Before they the couldn't. Trash. Now, because it's turf, they can. So yeah. I mean, I mean, it, we. We had plans and we were going to do things, but it kind of changed over the last year and a half. But I would love to see some improvements at Oldham Park. Well, but again, do we want to well, keep it like it is now yes. or change it to something? Tear the buildings down. That's all I got. That's up to y'all. Well, it needs but. something to be used and productive. Yes. I, whatever it is, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. And what kind of, I mean, I know I can't imagine what the liability would be, but I do feel like that's something that would be utilized. Oh, skateboard? I have no problem with the liability on that. It's just something you got to think about, especially when you add bicycles in. Yeah, and they will be on there because most oh, yeah, of the ones won't. I've ever seen had bicycles on. I mean, unless you put a security guard there around the block, you can't do that. Because they're just as crazy as those people on skateboards. They do that. They go up and do the three sixties in the air and everything. Was that on the top of the list for the youth? It was one of them. Up. I can't remember the exact number, but it was. At one time, it was bumped too hard for a water park. But I, I don't think that, that would be where that would go. Well, the only well, thing you'd want to do here was some type of a splash pad. You know, yeah. <coughs> I hear stuff about a water park, but a lot of people keep saying we need to do one like Litchfield. But they, Litchfield wish they hadn't done it. It's too expensive. Yeah, but you can't tell people that. I quit singing that song whenever I got. More Theirs cost five point one million dollars to build twelve years ago. But you ago. know, I wanted to pull a little yeah. long. But and you know, and what a splash, a splash pad. I mean, but they're and they're one, building one at the county park, aren't they? Yeah, they're one, don't they? A small one. Well, they're small, small, but I think they got a grant to build, put in a new one. Oh. And again, do you want to do prepared services? Well, the, the, any type of splash pad, you would have to collect the water to recirculate it. Now you got testing methods to make sure the water well, is safe. You can do two ways. You, that lets you run it out down the ditch. Yeah, and run be, fresh water. Be, well, be, being a city-owned, uh, it would have to have a dechlorination process before a homeowner can take their water hose and put it in a ditch. Nothing said. The city would have to have some type of dechlorination before we can do it. Okay. There's, there's different guidelines for us. Do the bitch of water. So maybe get that survey out and look at. What some of the top ones are. Uh, archery range or something, but because a lot of that was but, laid out for that down there wastewater. Yeah. Right, we're, that's why I say we want to put they some of that big, up here instead. Big so. archery. Well, but you don't want to get stuff spread out in too many different locations because then. And then again, you want to maybe put some of the, you know, maybe put some of the places for maybe the RVs to park up here. I mean, there's all kinds of things we, we could do, do up there. City on campground. We could put a city on, like I said, put the RVs up here if we want to. That's in town, and, and it could be used year round. Yeah, I mean, it's not. I mean, it's already flat. All we'd have to do is just have water hookups for it, and that'd be it. Electrical water and have collect. Uh, again, that's just a thought. I just thought I was trying to think of things we could do. The only the only problem with something like a campground is the residential area behind it, the housing authority and stuff behind it. And if we could do something for all ages, I would, you know, I would like that. Something okay. that's going to interest but you got all kinds of with the kid. big part, too. For yeah, but I mean, like, splash pad or well, maybe not the skate park, because Lord have mercy, if I couldn't do that, but I could watch. But, you know, something, you know, just because what I'm thinking along the lines of, 
I just remember when Olden Park used to just be packed. Booming. All of y'all do. Well, yeah, maybe not you. Yeah, You're a town boy. <laughs> the other one is now because it was mm -hmm. always yeah. baseball yeah. season. But times, times have changed. Yeah. I mean, well, and, and the person that called in last week nice. about the lights at the park yeah. was yeah. upset that there wasn't no lights in Elton. They even admitted they would rather have the lights at the park down there because we don't have lights down there than have them up here because they like the courts down there better. But they've always had the lights up here, so. I just like for it to look nice. But if you put lights at the court up there, are they going to take care of them or are they going to rip no, them? No, they tear them down up there too. They tear everything else up down there, so. And can we do a park, you know, in Louisville? Well, we got that out there. I'm thinking of, I'm just trying to think of something that looks nice that could be utilized by most multiple generations. Like a dog park. <laughs> <coughs> they use that for the dog park down there. Which the, the they the go in and scoop it all out and pay like it. No, but I just want, I just want it to look. Charles? I have nothing. I think David may have something in a minute. I don't know whether Mike does or not. Yeah, yeah they do. Well, that's going to be left for them. Kevin? Okay. No, I'm good. I, I, I was actually going to bring the same thing up to Sandy, brother, but I thought since she's talking about it, I might as well just say something because I was going to ask. Well, you would have said something. Anyway. <laughs> well, but I was going to say, you know, I was going to ask what you first. thought you were trying to do try and do something different with all of them. That's what I want yeah, to do. Yeah, I should have checked with you first, Kevin. Well, I fine. apologize. No, about I'm that. fine with that. I was fine with it. And it I have it, a storage building over there, so I drive past there all the time. So, <laughs> I'm always well, thank like, you. We know better. Yeah. Mike Allen. Uh oh. Uh oh. Thank you. Good for you. Oh. For what? That's good. You gonna read the whole thing? No, nah, I'm just hit some high points from y'all. Of course, it is, because it always amazes me. If you got any questions. Yeah, I know. Parking lots is what this means. It always amazes me what happens in these things. If you look on page two there. Uh, total accidents for the year was 207. Uh, you can figure every year it's going to be from 200 to 212 every year, year in, year out, almost automatic. Uh, <clears throat> again, there was 17 wrecks between Walmart, uh, Stoplight, and McDonald's. That's the hot spot, I Well, that's where it has been in the past, but uh, just to kind of show you and break it down how many wrecks there are from stoplight down to Walmart, which was 17, to, down to McDonald's. Others, nine on the parkway, 62 in parking lots, 82 on 62 and 231, and 34 uh, on city streets. If you look over there to the right, all the way over at uh, the officers and how many each officer worked. Uh, Jeff had 60, Mitch 26, Tommy 46, I had 62, and, uh, Brad had 13. So, They're not it, wrecking in the middle of the night, are they? No. <laughs> it's pretty much daytime. Uh, here. So the U.S. 62 is that east and west? Yes. Yeah. All of 62. Is, all 62 and, and 231. So the parking lots, is, is it better or worse than it was last year? Uh, it's about the same. They're usually about the same. Uh, <clears throat> next page is just a citation. Just got different uh, things that we arrested people or wrote citations for. You can look at those yourself. Uh, the shoplifting was 17. It was down a little bit. If you look on down there, warrant served in 2023. That was 66 warrants that were served. If you look on down towards the bottom, uh, possession of trove substance with the pills, there was four. Possession of meth was 12. Marijuana was six. Drug paraphernalia was nine. Trafficking in meth was six and uh, controlled substance, not in proper container for the reason. Uh, next page is a page that just shows uh, cases that was worked, cases that still open. Uh, you see four cases that still open. Odds are they'll never be closed because their identity theft, where we had to file, where people had their identity stolen in another state or several states away. And we had entered in Lincoln NCIC and had to open a case to do that. 
So that's that's the reason why that showed you down there at the bottom. Uh, kind of officers how many cases there were. Uh, and then if you look at the last page, it's the uh, well there again. There's the Walmart McDonald's. Uh, 17. There's 14 45s, 346s, which is is wrecked with injuries and. I'm happy to say we didn't have any fatalities last year. Uh, if you look at that total number of calls, uh, 22, we had seven officers, and we had 28.97, and then 23, we had five full-time officers, and we still had pretty much the same amount of calls, 28.73. Uh, Alcohol-related, DUI, uh, alcohol intoxication in public place, last year was uh, 28. 2023 was 15. Uh, and if you look there, the alcohol intoxication in public place in 22 was 15, and 23 was 6. So that kind of flip flop there. Alcohol related DUIs were 8 to 7, and then 5 drug related, and 2 drug related in 23. So that's just a little. Overall thing, if y'all have any questions about anything, just uh, ask me and I'd be happy to answer. When will we be back to seven officers? Well, uh, and that's a great way Thursday. Mm -hmm. So if they're going to be with us for probably a month. Right. And be with somebody pretty much till June. Uh, they may be working a shift in a car by themselves, but there'll be somebody with them till June. Somebody else, you just mean somebody else on duty or duty. someone else in the car? No, somebody else be on duty. On duty. So uh, they'll, they'll ride with somebody for a couple of weeks. Right. And just let them drive, let them take the calls. And after a couple of weeks, we'll probably put them in a car by themselves, but there'll be somebody out with them to just let, just kind of shadow them for a while. They'll have us fully stacked again. Mm -hmm. Anybody else have any questions? But we're glad you're graduating. And they both did terrific job. They they scored in the high 80s, low 90s, uh, and they've done really good. We're really proud of them. And they graduate Thursday, so uh, Chris and Tommy and myself we're going up Thursday to cheer them up. Kind of go over mine briefly. On the first page, you'll see that in 2022 we had 817 runs. In 23, we had 565. So, what do you attribute that to? So, if you look at the next one, the medicals went from 573 to 344. Um, what we did is we were having a lot of calls. Of, we were going out with everything EMS was going on. So, it was been sick for three days, need to go to the doctor. Uh, stubbed my toe or I fell down or my stomach hurts, um, headache for two days. There was a lot of them calls that we were getting called on as well. So what we did, we changed our protocols because we was running over 800 runs a year to where we go on, we call them the high five, but there's actually one of the five. So anything trauma, any fall from height, um, heart attack, unresponsive, difficulty breathing, seizures, diabetics, Anything that's would unresponsive, CPR in progress, things like that would, would be considered a true medical emergency is the only things we're getting paged on now. Unless when EMS gets to a residence and they need like lift assist, then they'll call us out. So we had a big drop in them calls from 573 to 344. On um, fire related calls, and I have a breakdown here in a minute, uh, 22 was 107 and 23 was 104. Vehicle accidents were down from 93 to 84. And then other calls, I'll go through that in a minute, it's 44 to 33. On the fire responses, 35% of them were structure fires, there were 36 of them. There were five vehicle fires in 23, 35 brush or rubbish fires, and then 28 fire alarms. The accident. 
interrupt you on the mm -hmm. fire alarms. Is that getting any better? I know in the past years we've had a lot of problems with false alarms. Um, it is. We have not, knock on wood, have not had one yet this year. And we're three months in, so that's pretty pretty good. Um, our biggest one last year was Ritatsu. Yeah. We run a Ritatsu probably 12, 15 times, something like that, all together. So it was probably it's our biggest one. No. My other out of the city, so. Mm -hmm. Um, but it, it has been down. The vehicle fires are down quite a bit. Last year, I think we had close to 25, 26, and the year before that was around that number and had been that number for quite some years. Last year, there was only five. Um, so that was pretty surprising. The vehicle accidents, um, there were 64 with injury, 20 without. Um, we had no fatalities this year. On the other responses, I have it kind of broke down between hazmat and gas leaks. Um, some of those aren't full-blown leaks. Those are somebody had smelled it in their house. We went in to try to detect, locate. There's 14 of those, nine down tree calls, six down power lines, and four flooding calls. And then the last one is the runs per fire department for all the departments in the county. Um, Beaver Dam had the most with 565, and that's 27% of the fire calls in Ohio County Beaver Dam responded, was called out to. What's the protocol? I know right now we're setting up a fire district, but if the Beaver Fire Department was strictly a city department and didn't leave the city, what would happen? I'm not real sure. I mean, I know we would lose the county funding. Yeah, we would lose. We lose the county funding. We would lose the all the fire dues, um, and then as far as then people in the areas, I'm not real sure. Somebody else would have to cover them. So I'm not real sure. What would it do with the ISO rating? It would probably plummet it. Well, yeah. no, it may not. It would still it would remain the same because you know I'll go over that. The ISO ratings uh, has a city rating and an out of city rating. So it shouldn't affect it any. Okay, what's our out of city rating? It's the same. Yep. But if we did not respond outside of the city, would the those people still get that ISO rating, or would they have to go with whatever department? They'd have to go with whatever department would cover them, and like. Pretty well from Jackson Lane all the way north, out Rochester, Prentice, all them areas would probably fall under Cromwell, and they're a 10. Um, they didn't complete their survey. So it would be pretty rough. All bluegrass crossing, every bit of that would go to a 10 on ISO. So their insurance would likely skyrocket because. Cromwell, for instance, being a 10 and not completing their ISO doesn't technically have a rating mm -hmm. at this point. It's not classified. So the Beaver Dam Fire Department is actually saving a lot of people a lot of money outside the city limits. Yes. And, and we've gotten better with it, too. So. Oh, I know. It just went down. Yep. Mm -hmm. Maybe y'all are doing a great job. Yeah. I'm trying to. People outside the city just need to realize that. <laughs> Inside, inside the city, we just hear a lot about annexation and everything else. They don't want in the city, they don't pay city yeah. taxes, but they don't realize how much money we're saving to begin with. That we don't have to. It's true. Um, the next thing I'll talk about is the ISO rating. So the ISO rating is um, they do it every so many years. They come and they do a survey. They go through the fire department. They check our apparatuses we have, equipment we have, personnel. Um, how we respond on calls, how many people we take with us when we respond, what are other agencies coming to assist us, what they're capable of. Um, they look at the water systems, Ohio County Water and Beaver Dam Water. They see what the hydrants are capable of flowing, their pressure testing, and then they also take the dispatch center to see what technology they have and what they can provide for us for information. Um, the ratings run from one to 10, one being the best, 10 being the worst. Um, more like a grading for system for the fire departments. We were a five, five X, fives in the city, five X is for the county that we cover. Um, effective April, we will go to a four, four X. So our ISO rating has improved. Um, for the area that we cover in the department that we have in apparatus, we have, it's a really good rating, so. Um, for the insurance companies that do recognize ISO and PPC, this goes out, like I said, it becomes effective in April. And from there on, everybody's insurance should see a drop in insurance for insurance companies that do follow this. Well, they may not see a drop, 
but they won't see as big an increase. Right. Because I know one thing through KLC we've learned with all of the tornadoes and the floods, the, mm -hmm. the losses have been catastrophic over the last couple of years, and you're starting to see everything go up. Go up. Premium wise. Yep. To recover. Yep. Hmm. Okay. And if anybody wants a copy of it, they're kind of thick, so I didn't really print out a whole bunch, but I can email it to you if you want a copy. <coughs> Any questions? Thank you. Jill, you have anything? Tracks. Luke? I don't have anything today. I was just listening. Hmm. I entertain a motion to go in closed session. Make a motion to go in closed session. Sure. Sure. Are we back in open session? I'm waiting for somebody. I'll make a motion we go in open session. Second. <laughs> motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor with that, signify that. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Okay, we did the closed session to discuss some possible litigation and some things. Uh, no business was conducted. And uh, does anyone else have anything else to bring up tonight? Entertain a motion to adjourn? So moved. Okay. Do you want to see the